Chris here with you and today I'm going to be telling you a little bit about Coinbase and how to use it. First of all, what is Coinbase? Coinbase is a Bitcoin wallet. A Bitcoin wallet is a program that lets you buy or sell Bitcoins. So let's say that you live in the United States and you use American dollars. You can send American dollars from your bank account to Coinbase and buy Bitcoins. The exchange rate is written right here. The amount of Bitcoins you have in your wallet already is right here. And the amount that it's equal to in dollars currently, according to the current exchange rate, is written right here and here. You can also buy Ethereum, another cryptocurrency, using Coinbase. The first thing you'll need to do when you're trying to buy or sell Bitcoins is to connect your bank account or debit card to your Bitcoin wallet. Coinbase is not the only Bitcoin wallet. There are hundreds, maybe thousands of Bitcoin wallets. But Coinbase works really well for people in the United States. So if we want to buy or sell Bitcoins, we go to buy or sell. Here in payment method, it shows that I have a bank account connected and a Visa card connected. It also shows that I want to buy Bitcoins. I have a $5,000 limit right now, but that limit is usually smaller when you first join Coinbase. That means you need to do a couple transactions before you get a bigger limit. So I can write how many dollars I want to spend and how many Bitcoins I'll get for that, or I can write how many Bitcoins I want to buy. So let's try dollars first. I'm going to put in $1,000. $1,000 at today's exchange rate is 0.9788925 Bitcoins. And it also shows you that there is a fee. That's right, for your bank account, there's a different fee than from your card. If I click my card, for example, I have a $300 limit. Let's say I want 250 worth. And it tells me I will get 0.2447233 Bitcoins. And it will cost me a total of 259.98. My total fee will be about $10. This is because a transaction from the debit card will have a different commission than from the bank account. If you want to find out what the fee is, you can just click this question mark here next to the word fee, and it will take you to another page. Let's look at the USA. If we buy Bitcoins from our US bank account, then we'll have a 1.49% charge. If you use your debit or credit card, it's 3.99%. If you want to sell your Bitcoins, again, you'll have a 1.49% charge. And from PayPal, if you want to sell your Bitcoins and send the money directly to PayPal, then you'll have a 3.99 commission again. Another important function in Coinbase is sending and requesting Bitcoins. If you press send slash request, it'll bring you to send funds. You can send funds to another person's Bitcoin wallet or to your own Bitcoin wallet on a specific website by entering the Bitcoin wallet address. Now, if we're talking about using Bitcoin Step, then we need to go to our Bitcoin Step page, go to our wallet, we click Deposit, and it will give us our Bitcoin wallet number. We copy it, and we go back to our Bitcoin wallet in Coinbase. We paste the wallet number here, and we write the amount of Bitcoins that we want to send, and a message if we want. Then we press send, and it will ask us to confirm that we want to send it. On the other hand, if we want to request funds from someone, this will be like an invoice. So on their wallet, they will see that you have asked them to send this money, and you'll need to confirm it. So let's talk a little bit more about how this is connected to using Bitcoin Step. First of all, we know that entering Bitcoin Step costs 0.06 Bitcoins. According to the exchange rate, we need to count how many dollars that will actually equal. As the exchange rate goes up or down, the amount of dollars that equals 0.06 Bitcoins will change. To activate your account on Bitcoin Step, you will need to put Bitcoins on your account. The easiest way to do this is to give your friend cash and for him to send Bitcoins directly to your account. But if you don't have a friend who can do that or you don't have any cash on you, you'll need to connect your bank account to your Bitcoin wallet. 
you'll need to download Coinbase from the App Store, the Play Store, or on your computer. Once you've registered and signed up, you'll need to verify your bank account or debit card or both. You can also use your PayPal account. After your account has been verified, you can send money to Coinbase from your bank account by purchasing Bitcoins in Coinbase. When verifying your bank account, Coinbase will send two pending transactions to your account. You will need to log in to your bank account using your bank's online banking service or application on your phone, and you will need to enter the amounts of the two transactions that are pending from Coinbase. After you've verified your account, those two transactions disappear, and you get charged for nothing. But your account will be verified. After you've sent money into your Coinbase account from your bank account, you can then send money to your Bitcoin Step wallet. When you've done that, your money will appear in My Balance. Remember that sometimes it can take about an hour or more for your money to go from Coinbase to Bitcoin Step. It can also take several hours for you to receive money from your bank account to your Coinbase account or to send money out of your Coinbase account to your bank account. So if it doesn't work right away, be patient. The only thing that happens instantaneously is sending an internal transfer on Bitcoin Step from one account to another account. Thanks a lot for sitting through this video with me, and I hope that you learned how to use Coinbase a little bit better in order for you to get involved with Bitcoin Step. If you need any help, send your sponsor a message and they'll get you through it. If you'd like to start an account under my name, you can use my referral link, which is written in the description of this video. Good luck, and I'll see you in the next video.